Hi, I'm Kevin, a speech language pathologist here at Super Duper, and today I want to share with you Lids and Lizards. Lids and Lizards is for those students pre-kindergarten and up, and they're going to target those uh, essential language skills for categorizing, describing, and even working on articulation as the students are naming the different vocabulary items that we have in, on hand here. So, how do we play this game? It's very simple. The first rule that we have is, here are our lids. You're going to get 20 lids that are going to have the Lids and Lizards logo on the top, and they're going to be magnetic on the bottom. We just basically select a vocabulary item magnet, place it on the inside, and turn it over. This way the students do not know which uh, vocabulary item they're picking up, but what they do is they will pick up a lid, they'll name the item under the lid, and therefore that's how you play the game. Another variation that we have for lids and lizards is what doesn't belong. In this, we're going to use four different lids. We're going to have three magnets that are from the same category and one magnet that is from a different category. The students are going to turn over and look at each magnet that they see under the lid. And then what they will do is they will identify which magnet does not belong or does not fit in that same category. Now to increase difficulty, you're free to use more magnets, more objects, etc., and even expand on their answers of which one doesn't belong by asking them why doesn't it belong. And another variation is category collection. With category collection, each student is going to receive four different lids. Under these lids will be a variety of items from each category. The object of this game is for the students to identify a specific category that they're assigned. So for example, if a student has been assigned the transportation category, they will be on the lookout for any item that fits the transportation category, whether it's under the lids that they have or under lids that the students next to them have as well. The object is to basically pick up an item, name it, and then decide, determine if that is in your category that you're supposed to have or not. The first student to correctly identify all of the vocabulary items in their category will be the winner. And another variation to lids and lizards is called lost lizard. Now in lost lizard, the students are going to take turns hiding the lizard and the other students are going to try to find it. For example, with this you notice we have five different lids that we're going to give to each student. Also different, the magnet is going to be placed on top of the lid and not underneath. Why not underneath? That's where the lizard is going to be hiding. So, with this, each student is going to ask simple yes-no questions in their search to try to find the other student's lizard. With this, for example, we may ask, is the lizard hiding under something that you drink from? That means we would look here under the cup. Under the cup, we find the lizard. So with that activity, the student was successful. They get the lid and the uh, lizard. This is theirs to keep. And then the play will continue around the table until all of the lizards have been found. As we're playing lids and lizards, we have a variety of ways to play the game from the very beginning to where we're basically just going to take a magnet, put it under the lid, and name that item exactly or all the way up to where we're using the lids and the lizards in combination to use it as a motivating game for them to find something fun underneath. Now, you can also use the lizards as well as you're playing your games normally to whereas if they select a lid that has a lizard under it, they say the word correctly, they describe it correctly, or even name the correct category, you can use that lizard as kind of like a add an extra turn or get a turn free token so that they actually get another turn during playing the game. Lids and Lizards is a magnetic photo vocabulary game that includes 50 magnets from five categories, animals, around the home, clothing, food, and transportation. You also get 20 lids and 12 lizards. As you can see, Lids and Lizards is a fun, interactive way to target language skills, articulation skills, even auditory and visual memory skills when working with students. And you can also use the lids from the Lids and Lizards game independently and use them with our super duper magnet talk games that we have that target articulation, phonology, and we even have a variety of language games as well with those. So you can use these with the magnets that are provided in those games as well. So, if you'd like to learn more about Lids and Lizards, please visit us at superduperinc.com or visit our Facebook page and share your ideas on how you could use Lids and Lizards in your therapy.